Kenyans are set to benefit from improved internet access, lower connectivity costs, and enhanced digital services following the launch of the Africa Broadband Mapping System. The Communications Authority has launched the Africa Broadband Mapping Systems, a continental initiative aimed at expanding internet connectivity and promoting digital inclusion. Africa just unlocked a digital revolution. Kenya has launched the continent's first ever broadband mapping system, a move that could reshape education, healthcare, and business for millions. Backed by the EU and ITU, it's a bold step toward bridging the digital divide. But here's the big question. Will mapping really deliver universal connectivity across Africa? Let's find out. Chapter 1. The Launch Event in Nairobi in Nairobi, late August 2025, the city buzzed with energy as leaders, telecom experts, and international partners filled the conference hall. All eyes were on one big moment, the launch of Africa BB Maps, a cutting-edge broadband mapping system set to transform connectivity across the continent. Now, this wasn't just another government ribbon-cutting ceremony, it was a signal that Kenya is poised to take a leading role in Africa's digital landscape. According to Tech Africa News, the event, held on the 25th and 26th of August, brought together government officials, private investors, regulators, and international partners to mark the official rollout. The energy in the room reflected the project's importance. Attendees weren't there for small talk. They were there because this launch has the power to shape how millions of Africans will connect to the internet in the next decade. Think about it. The internet isn't just entertainment. It's how people bank, learn, do business, and even access healthcare. For Kenya to be the first to implement such a system means it's setting the pace for the rest of the continent. The launch was not a one-country affair. It was Kenya planting a flag on behalf of a much larger African vision, a united digital map that will show, for the first time with real accuracy, who is connected and who isn't. Chapter 2 what is Africa BB Maps? So what exactly is Africa BB Maps? Let's break it down simply. Africa BB Maps, which stands for Africa Broadband Mapping Systems, is essentially a data-driven digital compass, supported by the International Telecommunication Union, also known as ITU, and funded by the European Union. It's designed to pull together information about broadband networks across African countries and display it in one harmonized system. According to Xinhua, the mission here is straightforward. Create reliable maps that clearly show internet coverage, network quality, and affordability gaps. Why? Because you can't fix what you can't see. Think of trying to build roads in a country without a map. You wouldn't know which villages are connected, which towns are isolated, or where the roads are crumbling. That's the problem Africa has been facing with broadband. Each country collects data in its own way, some with advanced tools, others with very little. The result? Policymakers and telecom companies are often flying blind. Africa BB Maps aims to fix that. By creating one consistent standardized mapping system, governments, investors, and regulators finally get a clear picture of where digital connections are thriving and where communities are still cut off. Chapter 3. Participating in Countries Here's where things get even more interesting. Africa BB Maps isn't just Kenya's project, it's a continental initiative. According to Tech Africa News, the participating countries are Angola, Benin, Botswana, Burundi, Cote d'Ivoire, Eswatini, Malawi, Nigeria, Uganda, Zimbabwe, and Kenya. But according to Tech Point Africa, the list includes Ethiopia and Zambia, instead of Angola and Eswatini. So, why is the difference? It could come down to reporting at different stages of the rollout, since some countries may be at various levels of readiness to join. What matters is that 11 sub-Saharan African nations are on board, covering East, West, and Southern Africa. Think about the scale of that. 11 countries, each with different levels of infrastructure and digital maturity, are pooling data into one shared system. Nigeria, with its massive population, Kenya, with its tech hubs, and Botswana, with its growing ICT sector, all work under one umbrella. This is not just about maps. It's about continental cooperation, something Africa has often struggled with in the digital space. If the system works well, it could even expand to more countries in the coming years, creating the first real pan-African broadband blueprint. Chapter 4. Budget and Duration Big projects like this don't come cheap. So how much is on the table? 
According to TechPoint Africa, the EU has committed roughly 16 million US dollars to Africa BB Maps. And this isn't a one-off event. It's a four-year program running from 2025 to 2028. Here's why that's important. Long-term funding signals that this isn't just a flashy announcement. It's designed to build something sustainable. Over four years, the project can move through different phases, from assessments and system design in the early years, to training regulators, deploying the mapping tools, and then consolidating the data into usable insights. 16 million US dollars may not sound like a massive sum compared to giant infrastructure projects, but in terms of building digital capacity and data systems, it's significant. Remember, this isn't about laying fiber cables or building towers. It's about creating the information backbone that tells countries where those investments should go. Think of it as a blueprint investment. If you spend money wisely on the plan, the roads, in this case digital highways, get built smarter, faster, and more cost-effectively. Chapter 5. Goals and Scope Now let's zoom into the heart of the project, its goals. According to the ITU's baseline assessment, the Africa BB Maps project has three main objectives. First, it wants to establish harmonized national broadband mapping systems that can track not only where networks exist, but also service quality and affordability. That means looking beyond, is there a signal? To questions like, is the signal strong enough for streaming or online classes? And, can people actually afford it? Second, it seeks to strengthen the capacity of regulators. Think about regulators like referees in a game. If they don't have the right tools or information, the game becomes unfair. Regulators in Africa often don't have up-to-date data to negotiate with telecom companies or to decide where public funds should be directed. Africa BB Maps will train and equip them to make better, evidence-based decisions. And third, the project aims to integrate mapping data into policymaking and investment planning. This is where it gets practical. Think about a government deciding where to build a new digital innovation hub. With accurate maps, they can target areas that are underserved but full of potential, areas that could benefit most from new infrastructure. So, the scope is clear. It's not just about building a fancy map. It's about changing how decisions are made, ensuring data, not guesswork, drives Africa's digital future. Chapter 6. Why Mapping Matters Why Does All This Matter? Why should ordinary people care about broadband maps? According to TechPoint Africa, these maps give governments and telecoms the power to see the invisible. Without them, huge parts of the population remain digitally invisible. And when you're invisible, you're excluded from online education, from digital banking, from telemedicine, from e-commerce. Let's use an example. Say a rural town in Uganda has only patchy 2G coverage. Without a broadband map, that town is just a dot on a government list. But with Africa BB Maps, that same town appears on a national dashboard showing weak connectivity. Now, regulators can direct funds there, telecom companies can spot an opportunity, and NGOs can push for inclusion. Suddenly, that forgotten town is on the digital grid. Another reason for mapping matters is accountability. When data is public, citizens can see whether promises about connectivity are being kept. If a government claims 95% of the population is covered, the maps can prove or disprove that claim. And perhaps the biggest reason is efficiency. Africa doesn't have endless resources. Every dollar invested in broadband must count. Accurate mapping ensures money isn't wasted duplicating networks in cities while rural areas remain disconnected. Chapter 7. What Kenya's Officials Are Saying when Kenya launched the broadband mapping system, the country's top officials didn't hold back their optimism. David Mugoni, the Director General of the Communications Authority of Kenya, highlighted that this system isn't just another tech tool. It's designed to complement existing national connectivity projects. What does that mean in real terms? It means schools, hospitals, and business hubs will get priority. Instead of rural areas being forgotten, this mapping system will guide decision makers to bring the internet to the very places that drive economic and social growth. According to Tech Africa News, Stephen Izaboki, Principal Secretary for Broadcasting and Telecommunications, called the system a true game changer. Why? Because for the first time, Kenya will have publicly accessible broadband maps that tell the real story of connectivity across the country. 
Think of being able to look at a map and instantly see where the gaps are, where coverage is solid, and where investments need to flow. That's exactly what this initiative will deliver. The enthusiasm wasn't limited to Kenya's side. EU Ambassador Henrietta Geiger emphasized that this 16 million US dollars continental project is about much more than data. It's about creating equal opportunities. By filling connectivity gaps, millions more Africans will have access to education, digital jobs, and global markets. Chapter 8 – Socio-Economic Impact Now let's break this down to what it really means for everyday people. Broadband mapping isn't about fancy visuals, it's about changing lives. According to Broadcast Media Africa, this initiative will make it possible to connect underserved schools, rural health clinics, and remote communities. Think about a rural teacher in northern Kenya who struggles to download lesson plans because the internet is slow or non-existent. With targeted investments driven by these maps, that teacher could suddenly access the same resources as one in Nairobi. For healthcare, it means clinics being able to consult with specialists in real time, share patient records securely, and order medicine online. For small businesses, it means entrepreneurs can move from selling locally to selling globally with reliable e-commerce platforms. It's about creating pathways out of poverty. When rural communities are connected, young people get access to remote jobs, women can start online businesses, and farmers can check market prices before selling their crops. Broadband mapping essentially turns data into opportunity. Chapter 9. Regional Significance Kenya's move is also much bigger than national development. It has a continental ripple effect. According to TechPoint Africa, this project is one of the cornerstones of the EU's Global Gateway Strategy, a massive investment plan designed to position Africa as a serious digital competitor on the global stage. By being among the first to roll out the system, Kenya is stepping into the role of regional leader. Think of Nairobi not just as a tech hub for East Africa, but as a digital reference point for the rest of the continent. As other participating countries like Nigeria, Malawi, and Cote d'Ivoire come on board, they'll be looking at Kenya's rollout as a template. And let's be honest, digital leadership matters. In a world where technology drives power, Kenya's leadership in this project cements its reputation as a frontrunner in Africa's digital transformation. Chapter 10, Future Milestones and Challenges. Of course, every big plan comes with its hurdles. According to the ITU's regional report, the first year of the Africa BB Maps project will focus heavily on assessments, basically a reality check. Where are the gaps? Which regions need immediate focus? Only after this diagnostic phase will Kenya and the other nations move on to system design, training, and full-scale implementation. The challenges, however, are very real. First, regulatory capacity. Not every country has the institutions or expertise to manage this kind of high-level mapping system. Second, in different country contexts, what works in Kenya's cities may not work in remote areas of Angola or Ethiopia. And finally, there's the issue of sustained funding and political will. Projects often start strong, but lose steam if governments change priorities or if financial backers pull out. However, these challenges are checkpoints. The success of Africa BB Maps will depend on how flexible, inclusive, and forward-looking the participating countries can be. Chapter 11, The Road to 2028. So where is this all heading? According to the ITU, by 2028, the vision is clear. Africa BB Maps should deliver fully functional, transparent, and open broadband maps across every participating country. By having these maps open and accessible, policymakers won't be guessing where to allocate resources. They'll be making evidence-based decisions. Private investors will know exactly where to build towers, lay fiber, or roll out 5G. And most importantly, millions of Africans who've been left behind in the digital age will finally be brought closer to universal, meaningful connectivity. Think about a continent where every school, hospital, and business hub has reliable internet access, where rural kids can learn online just like city kids, and where entrepreneurs in remote villages can trade on global markets. That's the world this project is working toward. Kenya's step forward is the start of a much bigger journey, a journey to make Africa not just a user of global digital systems, but a leader in shaping the future of connectivity. Kenya's broadband mapping launch proves that when innovation, policy, and people come together, real change is possible. 
It's more than just lines on a map, the foundation for a truly connected Africa where opportunity can reach every corner. But what do you think? Do you believe broadband mapping can really close Africa's digital divide? Which sector, healthcare or business will benefit the most? Comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe and stay tuned for more deep dives into Africa's digital future.